hi guys today we are here to talk about what's happening in kenya as a kenyan this is affecting me as well i want to go back there at some point in life so if they are trying to make it hard for us where are we going to go um, anyway guys before i forget if you're new to my youtube channel my name is julia barbara and i am from kenya based in qatar at the moment and i do videos about qatar life in qatar so if that excites you please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment if you're new. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and let's jump straight into today's video. So I wish I could have done this video from my own experience but I feel like this is affecting everyone in general like if you are Kenyan living in diaspora if you are Kenyan living in Kenya if you are planning to move to Kenya these are some of the things that you need to know I left Kenya and I had my own reason why I wanted to leave Kenya at that point because I felt at some point this is not a place that I want to grow because you know once you finish your high school you finish college or university you really want to be in a space where you can see yourself you know achieving a lot of things you've been studying for all like eight years because you know in Kenya we study for eight years and then we go for four years and then you have university for four years so imagine you finish university and then you feel like things are even getting harder for you that's when the real life start hitting you that's where i was and that's the reason i decided to leave kenya so kenyan government like every day that you wake up there is always something new about kenyan government comment down below if you're from other countries let's say african countries or asian or anywhere comment down below and tell me if you guys are facing the same thing because as a kenyan citizen we are facing it we are facing it i don't know to be honest where kenya is heading to in the next 10 years or in the next five years for now i can even say in the next one year because each and every day things are changing in Kenya. So let me share some of the reasons that I've gathered why a lot of Kenyans are leaving Kenya. From my own experience, me being a Kenyan living in Qatar, I remember when I came to Qatar when I was new here, it was so hard for me to make friends, especially when I was trying to make Kenyan friends. It was so hard to meet Kenyans here. Like, it, there were no Kenyans in Qatar. There were very few. But now, you do this, meeting a Kenyan. You do this, you meet a Kenyan. You do this, you meet a Kenyan. Like Kenyans are like taking over in Qatar. And same thing applies in Dubai, everywhere, all over the world. A lot of Kenyans are leaving Kenya. This is not because we don't love our country. We love our country. I, I wish I could be living in Kenya because there's a lot of things. I will do a video, a video where I'll try and compare life in Kenya and life in Qatar. I would really, really love to live in Kenya, but... The way everything is going, to be honest, it can be very, very hard. And it's not that it's a bad thing that the government is very bad. No, I don't want to scare anyone who is planning to move to Kenya because you can relocate there. It's the same thing that I feel like living in Qatar. I know for sure if I ask a Qatar citizen, they will definitely tell me that they prefer living in Kenya baby than living in Qatar. In terms of, you know, weather, you know, food and everything. But for me, I would prefer living in Qatar than Kenya for now. I don't know about future because of how Kenya is, like our government, how our government is. Qatar life is so smooth from cost of living i know it can be expensive compared to kenya to be honest i won't compare the cost of living in qatar and in kenya but everything is just smooth for us here everything is just smooth there is no stress from the government there is no nothing everything is smooth in as much that this country is very expensive i know in kenya we have like good food we have good weather we have like good things in kenya but what is bringing us down is our government and I hope that can change but where we are heading to I think it's getting worse it's really getting hard every now and then I get emails from my Kenyan uh, 
uh, every now and then I get emails from my Kenyan subscribers who live in Kenya they are trying to ask me how can they relocate to Qatar like life in Kenya is very very hard and to be honest I can relate I was there so I that's why I created this channel just to you know make it easy for people out there because I know how hard it can be in Kenya especially after graduating and you're trying to start a life it can be very very hard our government is putting us here anyway the first thing that led to why Kenyans are leaving Kenya is job availability wow you know once you graduate even if you're not lucky to graduate once you graduate from university or from college or let's say you are not lucky enough to go to college after you know uh, high school and then you are trying to you're trying to start a life and you're trying to find a job Kenya it can be hard it can be very very especially if you don't know anyone who can hold your hands you know if you don't have a godfather to assist you to get a job or, or if you don't have any talent that you can do something on your own and make money like you see how life is nowadays you can be a content creator you can make money out of it you can be a bowler you can be anything anything that will not make you to be hired by someone but if you're trying to look for a job a nine to five job in Kenya oh god back then it was very hard I can imagine now back then it was very hard so I'm trying to imagine now that there's a lot of people who are jobless back then it was very hard so I'm trying to imagine now that there are a lot of people who are jobless it's very very hard if you don't have anyone to hold your hand like to take you to an office say that oh I know this person can you give them a job you will struggle it's not that there are no jobs in Kenya. There are, there are so many jobs in Kenya. We have, you know, the best tourism in Kenya. So you can work in a hotel. You can work in a restaurant. You can just work anywhere in Kenya. Of course, we have government offices where you can work in an office. We have, uh, you have so many things. We have supermarkets. We have, we have everything. Everything that you can find in Qatar or where you are, we have it in Kenya. And even in Kenya, it's even more better because we have tourism. So we, we are supposed to be making money from the tourism. But there are no jobs. Simply because if you don't know anyone, you cannot get a job. Like, I've been there. I've I'm acting in Kenya, try to find a job, and that's why I say to myself, I am done. <laughs> Let me just relocate to another country where I can easily find a job without paying someone to get me a job. Because in Kenya, that's how it works. In Kenya, if you want to get like a good job that pays well, you need to pay someone to get you that job. So, to be honest, that's the reason why a lot of people want to leave Kenya and just go to a country that they can easily find a job and, you know, make a good income there. So, I've mentioned about corruption. If there is a country that is good at corruption, <laughs> I don't know. Whenever I say this to my West African friends, they always tell me, you have not been to Nigeria to see the real corruption to see how the government are choking us with everything, everything, everything. And I'm like, mm. but it's the same thing. We are still Africans. It's the same government. Like, Africa is just Africa. They tell me, no, just go to Nigeria and then you will tell me later. But in Kenya, we have corruption. Oh my god, the corruption starts from the bank, government uh, office, you know, when you're trying to, you know, uh, get a passport or when you're trying to, you know, get appointment somewhere or when you're trying to get a certain document. Hey! Hospital, corruption. Uh, bank, corruption. Uh, where else? Police, corruption. And what else it's actually everything police corruption is like it's everything in kenya if you want everything to go pa 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 if you want uh if you want to get into the hospital like very fast to get like 
earliest appointments if you want to go to the bank or if you want to get some document from you know let's say traffic police or first of all the traffic let's not even go traffic police in kenya I really appreciate living in Qatar because there is no single day that you'll be on the road driving and the police traffic will stop you to ask you for a driving license. Of course they do stop people to ask for a driving license but it's something that is very rare and they will not interrogate you, they will just stop you and ask you can you show us your driving license and that's all and off you go. You don't need to bribe them, you don't... Kenya. A traffic police is just standing on the road and they will stop you to just ask you for a license and they will just start going through your car and you know looking for unnecessary things that are not even there for you to just bribe them <sighs> and if they find a single thing let's say for example if they just find that your car has a because in Kenya we have this rule, you're in a, a public transport, we have this kind of mini bus that only take 14 people. If you're more than 14, you'll be in trouble. So if your car has a problem or if your car has, I don't know, whatever, I don't know anything about car, but then if your car has a, sometimes even is okay, but they will just stop you, stress your life. And if you just want to get away with everything, you have to just bribe them and you go. If you don't bribe them, they will stress. They will stress your life. They will even take your driving license. So, I really do appreciate living in Qatar because you don't see that. But then, at the end of the day, east or west, home is Kenya. Home is Kenya. I have to go back there. So, sometimes when I think about going back to Kenya, I get stressed because of small things. Small things. The corruption is too much. The corruption is just everywhere there is no place you will go let's say for example applying for a new passport that should be an easy service go online apply for your passport do everything online and then if they say the duration is like uh, 15 days you'll get your passport no it can even take you to an year to get your Kenyan passport if you apply online. If you don't bribe anyone to get you that passport, huh, you will wait. You see the duration they always have on the website, oh, after doing everything, after doing your fingerprints, after I think 30 days you'll have your passport. No, don't fall for that. You will wait for that passport. My mom waited for her passport for almost a year. A year and I got mine in 20 minutes because I was in Kenya I was supposed to come back to Doha and I wanted my passport and sub do what I had to do because if I didn't do that then I would be stuck in Kenya waiting for my passport for one year so you can see the small things they make it hard for you if you don't pay you not get the service. So sad that we vote as a Kenyan, you vote for your rights, but then you don't get the rights because all these services are supposed to be free. Here in Qatar, if you go to any government office for any service, it's so easy, like, to be honest. Like, it takes 20 minutes to even 10 minutes for a service here in Qatar. Like, they make things so easy because also them, they want to just get everything done and, you know, finish everything. But then in Kenya, you have to bribe. So, corruption corruption <sighs> corruption corruption will make you want to leave kenya like tomorrow like tomorrow because you have to bribe people for everything bribe 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 like it's everywhere like another reason why a lot of kenyans are leaving kenya unpredictable cost of living Let's say, for example, this perfume. Perfume was 200 Kenyan shillings. You blink your eyes like this. You open your eyes. The perfume is 400. Prison tax. When I was in Kenya in 2020, because I went to Kenya and then COVID happened, I, I was very shocked. You go to the supermarket today, tomorrow you go again. Different price for every single thing. Different price. So cost of living in Kenya is unpredictable starting from food something that is basic that that you cannot live without they will just increase the price like this you wake up in the morning and milk was 
20 Kenyan shillings tomorrow morning is 40 Kenyan shillings and this is the government we chose it's so sad the price of food will go high they know you need it you will definitely pay for it education every year every time that people are going back to school there is always like I don't know school fees last time I checked Kenya was supposed to have like free government school I don't know what that free government school means because I was in a government school and at some point I had to pay so there is nothing like free government school and that was back then so you can imagine now every now and then I don't know they need money for this they need money for this they need money for that they don't pay the teachers yet people are paying fees they don't pay the teachers teachers go for strike hospital doctors they go for strike nurses goes for strike because they don't get paid you wonder where all this money goes to because Kenyan tax is something else it's unpredictable you will just wake up there is a tax I don't know for what a tax I don't know for taxes that that don't make sense for sure they're increasing prices on things that they know you can't live without a gas last time I left Kenya gas was 700 now I heard that gas is almost 2,000 to 3,000 petrol electricity things that they know for sure you can't live without these things before i left kenya we used to pay electricity monthly where they come and read the meter but now you will pay through token you pay with top up so whatever you use is what you pay for but it's a lot of money if you try to calculate how we used to pay the electricity before and now i know for sure life is changing but then no no in kenya you have to top up your token in qatar they still use the reading the meter so you can be in your house and all of a sudden it's blackout you can pay that token and you will not have electricity for a week sometimes for a week by the way whenever i think about going back to kenya and i think about electricity because in qatar there's no day that there will be a blackout there's no day there will be a blackout there's always electricity everywhere not unless you have a problem with wiring in your house but there's always electricity there is no blackout here but in Kenya we can even go for I think there was a time we went for a week without electricity in a house so tell me what kind of life is that I don't want to scare you if you really want to move back to Kenya even me like I want to live in Kenya. Kenya is so beautiful. And mind you, there, I feel like the reason why a lot of people are getting angry about this is because we don't mind paying taxes. Let's pay the tax and let's see where the tax money is going. Is it going to education? Is it going to the roads? If you look at Kenyan roads, if you're not living in a nice area, then forget about a good road. If you look at education, if you look at hospitals, you even get upset because why are we paying all these taxes we don't mind paying taxes but can we see where the tax money is going and the sad part is we vote for these people during election these people will cry on us oh vote for me vote for me vote for me if you vote for me i will do this if you vote for me i'll build hospital if you vote for me i'll build school if you vote for me i'll make sure we have enough water vote for me i'll make sure all the roads will be built after elections if you vote for them, nothing happens. It's just tax corruption. Now, the worst part is, I don't know if I should do that on this video, but I woke up to a message from my friend today morning and she was telling me on what the Kenyan government is going to do, especially for people who are working in diaspora. If you're going back to Kenya, JKIA airport, even before it was stressful and now they even want to make it even hard for people if you arrive in jkia airport in nairobi kenya before they used to check on items that are new and you have to pay for that for customs you have to pay for that but then now if you have things that are more than what they expect you to have you'll have to pay for the rest of the things they'll do this to people even tourists do you think we'll have tourists in kenya it's so sad now they have this thing before in kenya we used to pay to for you to get your passport your passport we used to pay like uh i don't know how much is that in dollars but it used to be 
I think 7,000 on top of that money that you'll have to bribe. We used to pay 7,000, but then they've added the money. So here is the revenue uh, item that has been changed in Kenya. Extension of visa after six months. I think this is for tourists, $200. A business visa, $1,000. Huh? Passport, diplomatic, it used to be 7000 now it's 15000 uh, Ordinary passport, 32 pages, it used to be 4000 now it's 7000 Ordinary 50 pages passport, it used to be 6000 now it's 9000 Temporary permit, 300 now it's still 300 Temporary passport, 3000 like everything, I will try and insert this thing so you can see it. I'm reading it from here. My my friend sent me this. It's quite scary. I don't know what Kenyan government is planning for us because, to be honest, a lot of people don't have a job. And you're increasing the price of food. You're increasing rent. You're increasing electricity. You're increasing things that they really need. And people don't have a job. How are they going to pay? Of course... If you're doing all this, it's, you're trying to increase crime in Kenya because a lot of people will start stealing. I'm saying this because I live in Qatar. I'm trying to compare two countries. I know of Qatar is way far than Kenya. But if our government can be true to us, it will be a fair game. Put the tax there, but make sure the money that the Kenyan Mwananchi is paying is benefiting from that money let me pay tax let me see roads let me pay tax let me see uh, hospitals let me pay tax let me see um, services getting done easily but let me not pay tax and see nothing it's not fair on our side as well I saw something they were saying that if you are a Kenyan citizen and then you give birth to your children in another country for you to give in another country and you want your kids to get a Kenyan passport you'll have to pay a fortune for that or if you are a Kenyan citizen and you went to another country and then you are a citizen in that country and you want to go back to Kenya to get your citizenship you have to pay a lot for that every day you wake up every day you wake up Kenya there is something new there is always something new. I don't know. Starting from tax, there is a new tax. I don't know for what. There is an increase. I don't know of what. There is this. There is that. There is this. There is that. Of course, other countries, they do pay tax. But at least they see where their tax money is going. In Kenya, we don't see where that money is going. It's very sad. And this is the reason why a lot of people are leaving Kenya. Kenya is a country that you can relocate if you want to live a good life. It's a very beautiful country. But with all these things they are coming up with, I don't know where Kenya is heading to. I don't know where Kenya is heading to. I'll do another video where I'll talk about the cost of living in Kenya. So if you're planning to relocate in Kenya, don't let this stop you. You can still relocate to Kenya. If you're not Kenya and you want to relocate to Kenya, first make sure you do a thorough research about Kenya you will love it there everything is you know if you have your own money if you want to go and invest in Kenya please go and do so but the most important thing that you should do is do research if you want to live a luxury life then you can do that if you want to live a normal life you can do that as well there's a lot of things going on in Kenya now and they are really really affecting the Kenyan citizen we don't mind paying tax, but let us see where the tax money is going to. Increase everything if you want to increase it, but at least let's see where the money is going to. Let me know on the comment section if you are a Kenyan citizen living in diaspora, how do you feel about all these government things and what is your opinion on this? If you are Kenyan, comment down below and so that we can have a conversation. And even if you're not a Kenyan, feel free to ask us any question on the comment section. We will be happy to reply to you. If you've watched this video till the end, please be sure to subscribe, like, share, and comment. And I hope to see you on my next one. Bye.